What's going on, Andrew? Not too much. Going to go down to Red Stort, visit our friend Larry, and take a look at his uh, 19, I don't know what year it is, 1930, 31 fleet biplane. <laughs> so what are you flying today? This is my 1939 Taylor Craft, built in Alliance, Ohio. In fact, if you come around, you see my new logo here. And we just went to the sign store. I've had it for 25 years. I finally decided I need to put something on the side, so... Uh, $1,525 when it was new in 1939. I don't know what that is. I need to look up what that is worth in today's money, but I, probably still not too bad. I wouldn't think that'd be, I don't know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 maybe in today's money. All right, while Andrew's finishing with his pre-flight, what's going on? I'm going to go and get some gas over at Fayette County in a trailer I have. Then I'll come back. I'll get in the Champ. I'm going to go over to Red Stewart and meet up with them, and we'll go see this fleet biplane. And uh, it should be a fun little day of flying around. So let's see what we got going on. All right, I'm all hooked up. I'm going to head over to Fayette County and uh, I should be back in about an hour. Alright, I just stopped here at uh, Chipotle, picked me up a burrito for lunch, and now back to the drone, and uh, we'll go meet up with Andrew and Chris and everybody else. I got Jeff in the back. Jeff's my buddy. He lives down the street. And uh, we're going over to Red Stewart. Better stick your tail on the beach and eat it all. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. Oh, I'm only a foot away. Darn. <laughs> I think we can make it 1,584 feet. Try it out. So I'll do a quick uh, run up here. I'll do my cigar check, controls. Instruments from left to right. We're looking good here with all this stuff. Got a tack, I'll take our set. All temps are going to come up. Pressure's good. That's good. She got gas on. Oh, yep, looks like I'll quit because we got gas. Mixture's in. We don't have a mixture. Airplane stuff, your seatbelt on? Yes, sir. All right, trim set. With, uh, with Jeff and I in here, I'm going to put a little bit of down trim. And then, uh, Run up. We're going to take it up to about 15, 1600 RPM. There we go. Check the mags. Carburetor heat. All right. I like checking the controls. You ready, Jeff? I'm ready. All right, everyone. We're ready. So, uh, it's been a while since I've done a champ video, but two people, such as Jeff and I, on a hot day, about 85 degrees or so, full down elevator, full power. Here we go. Full power, starting to roll. <laughs> Into the wind a little bit here. 
There we go. Look at that. We got a thermal. just got here to Red Stewart's and this is my buddy uh, Chris Palmer's place. We just come over here to hang out for a little bit. Uh, Jeff came with me. Uh, you guys can see here's Andrew's T-Craft and he has a uh, J3 Cub. And check out that J3 Cub sign up on his hanger there. on my YouTube channel. You want to tell us about your vehicles? This is this was given to Ryan by Jim Hammond. He gave this to Ryan. So what is it? You guys drive this around? Yep. Ryan drives it. I can just ride in the back. This is Ryan's broken four-wheeler. He has another four-wheel that runs. Well, not yet. He It ran. He broke it again. It ran, he broke it again. <laughs> Man, I like this. This is cool. Mm -hmm. It's covered in fabric. Airplane fabric. What kind of engine does it have in it? 
Uh, three wheeler. Three wheeler. <laughs> it really does. It's a Honda. Mm -hmm. Honda three wheeler. The guy wanted a hundred bucks for it, but Ryan gave him a hundred bucks, and they said, "Oh no, I can't take all your money." So he gave him fifty bucks back. Oh yeah. And now you guys are driving it around. Yeah. It starts, it drives, it runs. This we call what we call a, go a golf cart. You want to hear this thing run? Yeah. You gotta put it in neutral first. Okay. At one time, sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. It's in between. Then we can put the Stetson over here. Okay. It's easier to get it back. Just know that between those two pine trees. Well, this was a 1929 fleet aircraft. It was made in Buffalo, New York, uh, at the old fleet factory. Reuben Fleet was the uh, the owner and the CEO and CFO and everything at the time. In 1929, business was a lot less complicated than it is now. But he had the factory and a team of engineers, and they built these, um, and they were used primarily as trainers for the military, although there were a lot of them that were sold to civilian outfits also for pilot training. Boy, the sound of that Kenner is pretty awesome, isn't it? How was it, Andrew? It flies good. It flies like a fleet does, you know. It performs good. 160 horsepower, you know, is more than normal for a fleet, so. It, uh, more than normal. You can see, yeah. More than normal, just like pretty much everybody standing here. Emerson in their decathlon or their Sataria. Get my, uh, my crab established. You got crabs again? I got crabs. Hey, there's, there's, your champ. Champ. there's your champ down there. Why is that flying? Yeah. Make some revenue. Make some money. So we just took off out of Red Steward and we are heading towards Jamestown, Ohio. Jeff's gonna do the flying, and I'm gonna try to shoot some uh, air to air with with Jesse. We're just gonna do some straight and level stuff. Pretty simple. Uh, he's coming up behind us now. Yeah. So I'm gonna open up this window here. 